The next insect we're going to talk about is the gypsy moth. And the gypsy moth, again, attacks hardwoods. Um, they leave their egg masses on the outside of the bark, and they're small, tan, fuzzy um, blotches of eggs. Uh, the female puts her fur into the eggs to help hold them together so that the egg mass stays on the bark of the tree. When the, they emerge and they become larvae, these larvae are hairy, but it may be hard to see here, but they have blue dots followed by red dots on their body, and that's a very distinguishable character for gypsy moths. So you want to look for red dots and blue dots. So if you got a eastern tent caterpillar, you would have a white stripe down the center, and if you have gypsy moth caterpillar, you would have blue dots and red dots on its back. The egg mat, or the pupae, um, is just a cocoon. It's going to be uh, fusiform shaped and it's black if you get one of those. And then the, there's a difference between the male moth and the white and the female moth. The male moth is dark colored, brown, and the female moth is white with dark brown striping on the wings. She also has a very, very large body um, and she cannot fly. So when she emerges from larvae to adult, she just crawls um, up the tree, um, signals for a male to come find her, then she lays her eggs and she does not fly. So she's a white moth, just like the fall webworm. She's about three times the size and she has these brown stripes on her wings. And she has that large, large body, as you can see, um, and she cannot fly. And that's the gypsy moth.